It's that Radiant Greninja just with the shurikens. We were able to take it out. So, hey everyone, Kelly here again. And today I've got an actual deck for you. By that I mean I'm not kind of playing a Mimi or single prize deck like some of the showcases I've been doing recently. Instead, I'm actually going to be playing something that I'm hoping to play this Friday at my local game store in person. It is a Palkia Kiram deck. So I've already played the games, and this is definitely a really cool deck. Uh, the games I played earlier, you'll see, are actually my first ones I've ever tried with this one. I have been playing a little bit of Shadow Rider Palkia, or not Shadow Rider, sorry, Ice Rider Palkia. This is very similar to that. I would say in a lot of ways it feels like an upgraded version to that deck. You're able to just power up your Kiram really well with the Palkia and just smash for a ton of damage. Uh, so let's again talk about this deck a little bit, see what makes it so good. Of course, you've got the Palkias. Everybody kind of knows what Palkia does. I don't think we need to talk about that. Let's look at the real star of the show here, this Kiram VMAX. So what we want uh, is this Glaciated World helps us to power up. We can use this once during your turn. You may discard uh, the top card of your deck. That card is a water energy attached to one of your Pokemon. And that's very helpful for his main attack, the Max Frost. Costs three water, does 120 base, and then you can discard water energy to do 50 more damage. So again, this is kind of similar to the Ice Rider Calyrax, where you can discard some energy to do uh, additional damage. The difference is, this is actually uncapped. You can keep discarding energy and just do an absurd amount of damage. Any VMAX you're going up against, get enough energy on your Pokemon, and you just one-shot them. They can't do anything about it. And it's super easy to power this thing up. So obviously you've got your Palkia to power it up with the Star Portal. The Oranguru is actually another good way to help power up your Kiram as well. So with Primate Wisdom, if you've got an energy in hand, you put that on top of your deck, and then you can guarantee that Glaciated World is going to get you an energy. It's a great little combo to, again, make sure that you're always getting an energy attached uh, when you need it exactly how you want it so of course we run the buckets buckets obviously a great way to go find energies when we need them those are helpful for when we want to use that little oranguru combo um, we've got the battle vip passes in the early game to help us get the pokemon down that we need radiant greninja is in here because it just you know combos very well with the deck um, not only can you get a little bit more draw with it with that concealed cards ability but the Moonlight Shuriken can definitely come into play in a lot of games as well. It actually will come into one of the games that you'll see in a little bit. Uh, it's very powerful to be able to power that up with the Palkia and just pick off two weak Pokemon that are on the bench. We've also got a Crobat in here for some card draw. Uh, and Polion is here to help us counter some basic Pokemon decks. Obviously good against like Reggie decks and a lot of other things that you might run into where you've got a lot of basic Pokemon that are uh, single prizers. Great way to kind of shut those down. This really hurts the Lost Zone decks in particular. Those Comfies, the Cramorants, they just have really can do nothing with this Emperor's Eyes ability. In addition to that, we've got more ways to make sure that we've got energy. We've got energy retrievals to get energy from the discard when we need it. We've got training courts for the same purpose. Nessa helps us find energy or Pokemon when we need them. Rita, obviously a great card for any kind of water deck. We get a water Pokemon and an item card. So we can use this to go get, you know, any of the Pokemon we need. Grab a bucket if we need energy. Loss Vacuum if we need to suck up some kind of uh, stadium or anything else that's harming us. Pretty much, again, any kind of item that we need, we have access to it with Rita. Melanie, again, another way to accelerate energy. Get one back that you've discarded with your Kiram or discarded with concealed cards. And then draw three cards. You know, we all kind of know what these things do. Choice belts to help round up your numbers. Air balloon can be helpful when sometimes you need to retreat into things. Boss's orders, you know, ultra balls, a lot of other standard things. Nothing really much to talk about with those. Uh, but again, that's pretty much the deck. You just want to accelerate a bunch of energy onto this Kirim in a lot of cases uh, to just knock out huge Pokemon. And otherwise, just use your Palkia to do Palkia things. Obviously, Palkia is just a strong Pokemon in and of itself. A lot of times you'll just be using that as your main attacker and just bringing out the Kiram to maybe do one or two big hits to kind of get maybe a Mew VMAX or some other big Pokemon. That said, let's just dive right into these games and see how I do. Okay, first game with Kiram Palkia. Let's see how we can do here. Hopefully we've got an opponent where we can do some really massive damage with this Kiram. That's obviously, again, all what you want to do with this deck. Load up Kiram with a bunch of energy. 
and just smash. Though sometimes you will just want to use the Palkia, you know, do typical Palkia stuff with it. But this is a pretty good opener, potentially. We've got the Arita. We've got a Kiram. So we can go find what we need with the Arita. This is actually my first game completely with this deck. So we'll see, you know, how well I can kind of pilot it. I haven't played a ton of Palkia in general. You have an Empoleon just in case. So it looks like we're going up against a Gengar. I think some hiding in it. Wow, we're getting all kinds of Kiram's. All right, so let's go ahead and put down another Kiram. We're gonna play an Arita. We've got in the deck. So wow, we only have, we've got one Palkia. So one's prized. Our other Palkia V Star is also prized. I'm kind of thinking we want. I'm kind of thinking we want the Kiram V Max here. Hopefully we don't get Marnied. Battle VIP pass is always good on turn one. We'll get Greninja and Palkia with that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll battle VIP pass. Oh, Rangaroo's duh. Forgot about those. They're obviously they're not a water Pokemon, but I still feel like we want the Palkia and the Greninja. You know what? Do we want an Orangaroo just in case we get Marnied? Because I think if we get Marnied, we'll be in a better position if we can make sure that we've got a Kiram. You know, let's try it. All right, so we've got that down. We're going to equip an energy. I'm going to save the training court. We'll use a Rangaroo. Put that back on top. The bucket is pretty good here, actually. So we're going to get the bucket down, get some energy from it, and... Yeah, let's just attach to the Kiram. So we're going to go for big damage next turn. We've got the Palkia V-Star set up to be able to accelerate some energy back after we hit big. I'm actually feeling really good about this. If he Marnies us here, I'm actually not sure if we've got enough damage. It's what, 120? Okay, so we did get Marnied. We were thinking about the Marnie. So we'll get our Kiram back. I'm still not totally sure we've got enough damage. We did when well, we get our Palkia back too. So this is actually fantastic for us. I can do a lot of damage with this though. Is that enough? Ow, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, that did not kill us. We've got our Kiram VMAX. I'm gonna go get Palkia. We're going to evolve. Let's see, just to be sure. So, oh, it's, 50, it's plus 50 damage. So we've got, we've got exactly enough. I think we'll equip an energy to Palkia. I kind of want to protect the Melanie with the Orangaroo. So we'll do that. And then we will... I guess we could have equipped another energy there. I kind of forgot that's part of the combo here. But that's fine. We, we've got enough. Pretty sure, if I did math correctly, we've got enough if we discard everything. Because that's 200. Yeah. Off to a pretty good start with this. I do you think the Rangaroo was the right call there to protect the Kiram VMAX? We did almost lose the Kiram. Uh, benching this extra Kiram was kind of a mistake there. I honestly didn't know what Gengar VMAX did. So I probably wouldn't have benched that if I had known, you know, that damage was there. Though I guess at the same time, you know, he couldn't kill it. And okay, so we get the victory. You can't recover from that. Not a bad start for this deck. Even though the Kiram did a ton of damage, I feel like the Rangaroo is really the MVP. Putting that Kiram back on the top of the deck so that we secured it from the Marnie. We were thinking about that. And we got the victory because of that.
let's get into this next game. Hey, we mulligan? We do run a fair number of basics in this deck, so we probably shouldn't mulligan too often. And we got the Oranguru. We got Aritas to help us out. I'm pretty sure we're going second. Oh no, I think we're going first, actually. So we've got a little bit of a weak start. I oh, know, okay, we are going second. Good. That means we can use Arita to go find something. We're going to quick ball away one of the Aritas, depending on what we draw. I'm going to quick ball. So yeah, we'll quick ball away an Arita. And we want to grab a Kiram here. I guess with... You know, I guess because we can grab a Battle VIP pass. It's our first turn. So let's just... We'll get this. We've got all our Pokemon, it looks like. Our prizes. Um, I actually don't remember the list well enough to be able to tell offhand. But I know we've got, like, basically all of our Pokemon. So we're going to get... Oh, our Crobat's gone. We're going to get Radiant Greninja. And then we're going to Rita. Or a Palkia and Kiram. Oh, duh. No, we can't do that. We're going to battle the IP pass. Whoops. We'll bench that and battle the IP pass. Uh, I see no reason not to bench multiple of these here. Let's go ahead and do that. It looks like we're playing the Arcanine deck. I totally didn't even look at what my opponent was playing. So this deck probably doesn't run Marnie. We don't need to worry about that, I think. The question is, do I want to risk concealed cards, or do I want to equip an energy here? I think we're going to equip an energy. You know, I am just in case. I'm going to Primate Wisdom here and put the Evolution Incense on top. All right, so our opponent does Evolve. We'll see if he's able to get his hand down to zero. I mean, on a first turn like this, he's almost certainly going to be able to. He'll probably have plenty of access to all the balls that he needs. Yeah, so he's got the Myena. He's preparing for that early. This will definitely be an interesting matchup to go against. I actually really love this deck. Really, really love this Arcanine deck. Looks like he's running a different version than the one that I'm running. I don't use this Meowth. But it makes sense. I see why you would use this. It does give you access to some good discard. Honestly, probably a pretty good include. So he's got a Radiant Venusaur. He's setting up really well. It will be good for us if he doesn't have another Growlithe, though he can't always just bring it back with the Zora Arc. We set up really strong. He does lose an Ordinary Rod. We don't know if he's running more. His burn is running a Flapple. Okay. All right, so we lose our Orangaroo. Uh, This is a matchup where the Kiram doesn't really matter all that much. So let's go up with the Palkia, I think. We do find an evolution incense. That is good. We're going to grab the Palkia. Evolve. We don't have any energy in the discard, so we're definitely just going to Arita. We're going to get a Kiram. I think having the Kiram just in case is not bad. It can potentially allow us to get some energies going, which we do want some energies here. We'll grab a bucket. And we'll use the bucket. I think I will concealed cards. Ooh, we got 20, 40, 60. Yeah, so plenty of damage to kill him. We're going to concealed cards. We don't need to quick ball for anything. I think we're just going to hit him. So we'll just hit him. He's going to be able to come back up. 
you know, he'll have to use his Zorark to go get this Arcanine if he wants to be able to keep swinging, which he's definitely going to want to be able to keep swinging. Hopefully he doesn't start getting another Zorark or Arcanine set up. So again, he's almost certainly got plenty of uh, balls. Oh, I guess the Myena actually does make more sense here. He's going against the VMAX, so he's going to hit us for 160. All right. We're going to put down an energy here. We're going to use the Melanie. Maybe we should use the Arita to be safe. You know, I'm going to check to make sure I've got no way to switch around. Because I honestly just don't even remember. Oh, I do have balloons. I think the balloon would be good here to make things a little bit tougher for him. So if we retreat into this other palkia, though I guess, no, we can't charge up then. Yeah, we can't charge up this turn. If we just equip that energy. And we're using the Arita, so we can't use Melanie. None of these items are really speaking to me. We'll just, we'll get a bucket. I don't really know why. This is useless in this matchup, so we're just going to equip it to get out of our hand, because I might want to use the crowbat. No, I, I kind of feel like the crowbat becomes a target. So I'm going to leave that there. And we'll just subspace well. So if he's got another Zorark, he can always just evolve this and then come right back out. All right, so he does. So we're going to lose this Palkia. I think, like, it might have still been... So he discards a hand. He is down two ball guys, two Arcanines in the discard. He, all right, he runs multiple ordinary rods. That makes sense. Probably going to grab another Zora here. Yep. He wants to be sure he's always hitting every turn. We're going to get the other Orangaroo. We're going to power up this Kiram because we do need to be sure that we're keeping attackers charged up. We only have the two Palkias, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to use a Melanie. Open energy. Oh, there's the Orangaroo, so now we don't even need to. We're just going to use it anyway just to get these out of the deck. Give us a slightly bigger board. So I guess that was kind of a target that I just put down. Okay, so we're going to bucket. And we'll use a Rangaroo. Put an energy on top. Well, apparently an energy was on top. So we'll use this. Whip it to our Kiram. And we're just going to quick ball here just to kind of get these things out of the deck. Just in case we get Marnied. I mean, this, this build probably doesn't run Marnies. Yeah, I'm going to concealed cards. We get an inner retrieval. Again, these are useless, so I'm just going to equip it. And we're going to sub base well. So next turn, you know, he's probably going to come out again with another Zorark. Charge it up. We're going to try to make things a little bit harder for him by switching into the Kiram. You know, actually, I guess... 
a Radiant Greninja is kind of a good play here. Because if he goes into the Myena, then we can pick off the Growlithe or another Zora. Yeah, I think that's better, because then we get two prizes. He's still kind of early in prizes, so he can't, like, slow bro us, which he doesn't even have in the discard anyway. So he may not be playing a slow bro. He can't boss us this turn. Okay, so there comes the Myena. We're going to switch into our Radiant Greninja. We've got... Three energy in the discard, so this will be perfect. Yeah, let me just be sure. I've honestly never used this combo to discard two energy. Sack does 90, two Pokemon. So yeah, we'll pick off, I think, one of the Zoras and the Myena. We'll make it things a little bit harder for him to keep kind of pulling things back. So we'll use V-Star Power. And then we will use a switch. Question is, do I want to kill the Myena or do I want to just kill both Zoras? If I kill both Zoras, he's got none left. Then he's just stuck with this Myena. He can't even attack with it. I think that's better. We use Moonlight Shuriken. Hit those two. Take two prizes. You know, honestly, the Empoleon would have been pretty good. I forgot I was even in the deck. All right, and there we go. Get the victory. Thank you, Radiant Greninja. All right, well, that was a look at Palkia Kiram. Definitely a really strong combination. You know, I, I kind of think I said during the first game, these were really, honestly, my first couple of games playing this deck. So I'm sure I made plenty of misplays, lots of little optimizations I can make. You know, I even as I was playing it a little bit, I was seeing some things that I could have done certainly better, but you really did see the power of that deck. That Kiram can just be powered up really quickly. Did massive damage to that Gengar VMAX. Just one shot it, won the game right there. And then against that pretty fun Hisuian Arcanine deck, we were able to find a way to victory. Bench too many weak Pokemon and just that Radiant Greninja just with the Shurikens. We were able to take it out. So again, quick look at the Kiram VMAX uh, with the Palkia. Really fun deck, really strong. Seems like a really good kind of upgrade, I think, from Ice Rider Calyrex, which I had been playing a little bit with Palkia before. So, yeah, I hope you liked this one. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Got lots more content like this coming up. So if you like it, you'll probably like more. And I will see you in the next one.